gonna be working on level four, okay? The fourth layer is the first layer that we focus on the top sidewall. So remember our three columns, we have our bottom sidewall, our top sidewall, and then first step counters. On Thursday, is gonna be day four. So we're working on this fourth layer and we're gonna focus on the quick clamp. The quick clamp is important because if you lift your left hand on every whistle, that is our common denominator for counters. So you have to be able to face off keeping your left hand low also, there are certain athletes and heads that you're gonna go against that are susceptible to keeping your left hand low and coming over the top, all right? So, remember now, when you quick clamp, you are not holding the stick underhand. This is weak and it's slow and it telegraphs what you're doing, okay? Elite level SMG guys, they look at where you're holding your right hand on the stick to be able to tell what move you're gonna do and if you telegraph it, you're easy to beat. So, we're gonna keep this wrist over the hand. Remember, thumbs down turning the doorknob. That's how we're going to clamp. Not rolling your wrist backwards this way. Okay, This is a much stronger and effective motion. We're going to stand here. We're going to focus 10 reps first on our quick clamp. Get that weight distributed on your right foot. Notice how I keep my left hand on the ground. I punch my knuckles straight into the ground. Okay, Right there. So we're going to get 10 of these. After you've done 10 quick clamps, then we're going to work on our 10 quick clamps. We're going to work on five quick clamps, excuse me, into every single exit. So you have your offensive exit, which we're gonna do right here, okay? Remember now, on every rep to reinforce keeping your left hand low, you're gonna punch the ground with those knuckles and then lock it and go into your exit. So we're gonna punch the ground with this left hand, we're gonna turn over with the right, and then we're gonna lift, and we're not gonna take any steps. We're gonna push off with that right foot across the body into an offensive exit, okay? Once we've gotten that, five reps that way, then we're gonna go five reps the opposite way, back door. So we went out the front door for the first five, punch the ground with the left hand, and then lift, and then step out and go back door. So then we're gonna go front door, back door. Now we're gonna go TTL. Punch the ground into a quick clamp, right here. Then you're gonna lift to lock, okay? Never try to pull the ball through your legs like this because it could slide out. So we're gonna come in, punch, lock it, and then pull it through your legs and always open with your left foot so that you can guard against your opponent. It's a natural box set. Okay, so we're gonna pop the ball through our legs, we're gonna turn, and then we're gonna scoop onto it. All right, now, if you have a tight quarters, if you're doing it inside of your house right now because of obvious reasons with the pandemic, then feel free to just practice it this way and then bring it back, okay? Then the final exit is our defensive draw. So we're gonna go quick clamp, now don't keep, lift your hand up, okay? You're gonna punch it in, boom, cut your left hand to your foot, still haven't taken your step yet, and then you're gonna swing your feet around, and as soon as your right foot hits the ground, step, you're gonna lock it and get out, okay? So those are your exits. You're gonna go quick clamp for 10 reps, then you're gonna go five reps offensive, five reps back door, five reps defensive draw, and five reps TTL with our four exits. You're gonna do three sets of all of those, and that is layer four, the quick land.